My name is Susan Hasegawa, and I'm originally from Hana, Maui, Hawaii, and Hana is a small town on the eastern end of the island of Maui. I went to college in Colorado, Colorado College, and I currently live and work in San Diego. I live in Mount Helix in La Mesa. And it all started off with two Hawaiians wanting to visit Washington, D.C. and have lunch with a U United States senator. While I, was, while I was in college, a friend and I wanted to go to Washington, D.C. We had never, well, we, I had been there once, but it was just a really short visit. But we wanted to go see some of the sites. And we had heard that Senator Sparky Matsunaga, the, the, the senator, one of the senators from Hawaii, took his constituents out to lunch in the Senate dining room. And we thought that was the coolest thing. And so we, we thought about how were we were going to get to Washington, D.C. before we graduated. And during one of the semesters at Colorado College, I had written a paper on the internment of Japanese Americans during World War II. So we decided to apply for a travel grant to conduct research on the national movement called Redress and Reparation. The Redress Movement was seeking an apology and restitution of $20,000 for every person of Japanese ancestry that was evacuated and removed from the West Coast. So a couple months before graduation in 1988, we got the grant, went to Washington, D.C., and after returning from our trip, we also organized an on-campus uh, lecture with a minister from Denver who was incarcerated in Granada, an internment camp in Colorado. The entire process was an awakening for me. I had participated in, you know, vigils for, you know, Martin Luther King Day. Um, at that time, the apartheid, anti-apartheid movement was, you know, in full swing, and I had gone to some of the, the protests on campus. But this entire process of visiting Washington, D.C., seeing then the redress movement bill move to Congress, talking with Japanese American community leaders in JACL and some of the lawyers and historians in the process, it really brought back to me that, you know, this is what can happen when a community decides to get engaged politically. And so the afternoon we met with an aide from Senator Daniel Inouye's office, the other senator from Hawaii, regarding redress, the Senate passed HR 442 in honor of the famous all-Japanese-American fighting unit of World War II. Later that year, 1988, President Ronald Reagan signed H.R. 442. And since that experience, I keep coming back to this issue of evacuation internment, what had happened during World War II to persons of Japanese ancestry. Now, what's interesting is that we had the minister from Denver come down and talk to um, Colorado College students. And after his lecture, a student raised his hand and asked, did the U.S. government really lock up U.S. citizens? The student was totally amazed that he had never heard about these events, and he had lived in Colorado all his life. I can still recall the incredulous look on his face, and ever since my awakening, this urge or attraction to continue working with Japanese American issues has haunted me throughout my working career. Currently, I'm working on an exhibit for the Poston reunion, which is a reunion of um, many people from San Diego who were incarcerated in Poston, Arizona, and they meet every other year since the 1970s to remember, to ensure that everybody also remembers.